Hello, Shadowcat back with more Star Trek Online, and it's been a minute. I've been out sick. However, I'm doing better now. I, I blame, uh, I blame our betrayal on that dusty, dinge ball of a planet. Yeah, that was the cause of it. But hey, we're off the planet now, and despite our betrayal, I'm feeling much better. And that's a good thing, because I believe that we have somebody who has work for us, but I'm not sure exactly what it is. I haven't been giving any kind of debriefing, I haven't been given any hints. In fact, I believe they're waiting on comms right now, and they've probably been waiting for like the last week. I don't feel bad about it, though. Nope. If they've been waiting for the last week, they can wait a few more minutes. But I'm not going to make them wait a few more minutes. Why don't we bring them up? Uh, Solarian, if you wouldn't mind, see who is on line number three. Klingon Intelligence has completed its analysis of the data you recovered in the Nopata system. The Iconians are using the Tal Shiar as a way to influence the Romulan Star Empire. Their persecution of the Remans is directly related to this. They will hound the Remans until they are broken, or until they are too suspicious and beaten to ever trust an ally again. This is a coward's way to wage war! Are they too afraid to face us directly? We will stop these machinations now. Then, we will see if these demons are brave enough to show their faces. The data you recovered indicates that Hakiv is operating out of the Brea system. Long-range sensor scans suggest there may be a major Tal Shia installation there. You know Hakiv better than anyone. I am offering you the chance to face him at last, warrior to warrior. He must not escape. Okay, that's fine, I suppose. Sure. We can do that. I certainly don't mind sticking it to Hakiv one more time. So we need to get to the Brea system, and it is right... There, I think. Tovin, would you mind? I mean, I think that's it. I could be wrong. Nope, I'm wrong. That's the Euro system. Hold on. Okay, there it is. It wasn't that far. And we're probably going to that planet right there. I bet. Is it that one? Yeah, it's that one. Alright, Tovin. Take us in. We have arrived in the Brea system. Preliminary scans show automated defenses and a handful of Romulan ships, most likely Tal Shiar vessels. If we're going to reach that planet and beam down safely, we'll have to breach the Romulan defenses. The weapons platforms are probably short range, but we must disable the satellites and any enemy ships in orbit, or any away team that we send to the planet will be in immediate danger. Tactically, it would be wise to draw off the ships and engage them separately from the fixed defenses. The Zedenia is prepared to assist you in the attack when you are ready. Sounds good. Let's Enemy do it. Vessel. You are in Romulan space. Leave immediately, or you will be destroyed. Absolutely not. Not after I came all this way. Alright, so. I am putting all power into the weapons. Unicorn? You ready for this? Give me a targeting solution. Alright. Tovin? Lay in a course. And let's go. And that one's already gone. Next, we have a heavy warbird. Fire at will. Everything you've got. Goodbye. Next. Another one right there. Tobin, come around. Shields are down. Bolster the shields. This is turning into a cluster. Tobin, bring the ship around faster. We're losing our port side shields. Well, this is less, uh, less than optimal. 
Alright, we're circling the drain now. We need to get our, our nose pointed towards them. And they are capable of outmaneuvering us. Starboard shields are failing. Come around quickly. Almost. Unicorn, as soon as we've got it. We've got it. They're gone. Uh-oh. Brace for impact. Tractor beam mines. That was clever of them. Get me into the targeting solution. A light warbird. Lay in a course. Prepare to take it down. Get it! You have a long stretch, Unicorn. Lay into it. Good shooting. Next. It's outmaneuvering us. Slow us down. Hard turn. Goodbye. Getting us out of here. Alright, come around starboard. What do we got? Another light warbird. We can take that out. It's pretty far out there, though. We have lots of time to come around and line up. Obisek's ship is down for a moment. He'll be back up, though. Alright, 13 kilometers out. Wait, there's a satellite that's targeting us. Okay, we need to take that out first. Oh, now we're being attacked by that warbird. That's okay, though. Knock out that satellite. Good. Next target. Another satellite. Yes, I realize we're taking fire from that light warbird. However, our shields can take anything that warbird has. Alright, hard to starboard. Give me targeting. Interceptors. And unicorn. Let loose. All right. One dead warbird. And the ship is barely hurt. All right, Tovin, take us down to the planet. I have no idea what we're going to be beaming into, but we'll find out when we get there. Where's Obisek and his ship? Oh, there they are. Way back there. Well, I'm sure Obisek will catch up. How much longer till we in transporter range? Tal Shiar reinforcements are closing on this location. We must be swift. The Tal Shiar base is mobilizing. We need to hurry if we're going to have any chance to fight Hakeev and his Iconian connections. I'll meet you on the surface. We have exactly that long. All right. I'll assemble a team. We have a problem. The Tal Shiar are trying to jam transporters, and particle leakage from the strange technology here is affecting our targeting sensors. My scientists can't identify the type of particles yet, but several of my troops are reporting in from different locations. Transporters are being diverted. You're on your own for the moment. My scans show that the Tal Shiar have secured some areas of this base with force fields. You'll have to disable them or find ways around them. Akiv will be somewhere well defended, but we have him cornered now. Okay, never mind. I guess I don't get a team. Sir, I'm having some trouble getting through all the interference. Away team members are reporting in from all over. I'll try to keep in contact, sir, and we'll organize beachhead teams where possible. Once the team assembles, they may be able to use site-to-site -site transporters to provide you with reinforcements. All right, well, on my own then. Not the first time, but it has been a while.
Then again, maybe this is better. The last time I had a partner, he betrayed me. Wait, is that it? Just a technician? Really? That's it? Alright. Well, you know what? I have a sword. Looks like the Talsyar are using force fields and construction supplies to choke off access points. They must have detected us in orbit, and they're, you, they put the base in emergency lockdown. Orbital scans show that a lot of these buildings have catwalk or catwalks and balconies. You may be able to use those to get over some of the walls and barricades. Some of our tactical teams have made it to the surface with beachhead equipment. You may be able to get support from them. Romulan ships will be here soon, though. And so we'll have to raise the ship, uh, the shields, and we won't be able to use transporters. Fight with honor. Fair enough. So just me against an entire army of Romulans. Maybe? What kind of support can I get? Oh, that kind of support. I like that kind of support. Move in. Let them have it. Got them. Well, that was easy. And they were worried about this. All right. So what's this? Oh, right. I need to set some spatial charges. That's the first charge, sir. I've downloaded virtual markers to your heads-up display. That will show you where to go to place additional charges. Well, that's phenomenal. I'm gonna some. I guess I should go up. Maybe I can get a better lay of the land. And besides that, Solarian did say that I should use the catwalks. Oh, that's not good. Enough of you. Fall down. Sir, Romulans are massing reserves in multiple locations around the base. The ship is in synchronous orbit. We can provide fire support if you supply targeting coordinates. Fire support, you say? I like the sound of that. Okay. I see another place to put a spatial charge. I also hear a lot of firefighting somewhere. Okay, another catwalk on the other side of the rotunda. That's a funny word. To the right, ground level, scans indicate a building that houses a data facility. Oh, and there's a point where I need to blow that up too. That's a scorpion. Um, was that particularly important? Actually, he's coming back. I might need to move. Or maybe he's just going to kind of fly around up there. I don't know. Oh, yeah, he did drop a firebomb over there. Well, that was rude of him. Okay, well, I know where I need to place one bomb. Are you guys friendly? You are friendly. And you're going to hold this location. All right, that's, um, that's good. I'm going to go plant, uh, plant a bomb. There we go. Call for support? Uh-oh. That wasn't good. Not good. Not good. Very not good. Um, um... I don't suppose you guys want to help out at all. Retreat! 
do have a medical thing, don't I? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna take pot shots from here. There we go. I have a barrier. And they broke it. Here, have some mines. Stay back. Alright, there's one of you. I warned you, you should have stayed back. I'm going to show them just how much damage one person can do. Okay, so I have that one thing in place. That one bomb. And they wanted me to... Uh, adjust a weather controller? I never saw a weather controller. They also wanted me to call in airstrikes. But I don't know from where. I mean, theoretically, I should need to, uh, to do it from up on high. The question is just, from where on high? I don't know. However, it looks like there might be something down here. And I've got the vantage point up here. Uh-oh, uh-oh, no, no. That's not good. Shield. And heal. Wait, no, that's mines. This is heal. There we go. That's what you get for challenging me. Now, I need to place one more spatial charge. And that's where it goes. I don't know who planned all this out, but, I mean, sure. Alright, now where do we go from here? Hakiv's in the promenade outside of a building southwest of your location. But you're separated from him by one of those force fields. There's an access gate on the walkway, but you'll need to disable the force field. If you create a massive power draw at one of the other large facilities, it should temporarily disrupt the field. If you get back on the rooftops, it will give you a better vantage point. Okay. I'm good for vantage points. Let's see what we can find. We just came from that direction. Uh, let's try up here. Well, no. I can't go that way. So where can I go? Something over here? Oh, hold on. Cue a power drain. Sir, Hakeev's in a reinforced section of the base. You'll need to access the chip or else the doors won't open. We're reading a forward observer team on the highest building in your area. If you can get to the officer's access chip, that should get you in the heart of the base. Okay, well... Uh, that's useful to know, I suppose. You know, that fire support would be really nice right about now. Or, hey, that works too. Wow, there's really not much to those fighters. I only shot it like twice. Okay, well, we need to get up there. And I think... Yeah, that force field's down. Good. So what's up here? Hmm. So my fire support does exist. This should be fun. More of that, please. Yeah, I'd like more of that.
I'd like more of it, and I'd like it indiscriminate. Hmm, wait, what was that? Aha! Here we go! Got him! Come on! Shoot! And there's the scientist. Take him down. Very good. Thank you, men. And do we have a chip? You should be able to use the officer's ID chip to bypass security lock on the access gate in front of the central plaza. Hakeem is directing defense operations from there. Alright then. Let's go. Alright, I think I need to be down there. More than likely, at least. That was bright. You're in a section with Haki's personal officers. You should be just ahead. Is there anyone around here I should be worried about? Nope, I don't think so. Just those people that are running into a wall. Okay, well, I'm not worried. We have a problem up here. Over the past few minutes, the ship has started to suffer a series of cascading system failures. Nothing serious yet, but it looks like we're being hit by an Iconian virus. We'll purge the computer memory and restore from archives, but that will take some time, and we'll continue to have the system problems until the work is complete. Even if it works, Hakeem can simply send another virus our way. You'll need to find and destroy the Iconian transmitter before the ship will be secure. All right, well, hey, blowing stuff up is my specialty. None of this matters. We just need to open the gate, bring the Iconians here, and it will be over. That was Taurus's plan, too. And you saw how that ended for her. We finally have the opportunity. Victory is within our grasp. You call this victory? It's over. This is done. You're done. No! We can still fit You! You're the cause of all of this! You don't even understand what you walked into! You're too late to stop it! A lonely being such as yourself cannot even recognize the true power the Iconians represent! And that any future will depend on a place in their regime! All you've done is arrive in time for the end of existence as you know it. His ventriloquism skills are on point. Okay, stop shooting at me. Also, stay away from me. I warned you. Oh, that's a Thaleron weapon. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay. I need to put something up to help me. So, there's a more... Or, yeah, there, there's a turret. Here's a drone. I'm also going to need my medical generator, I think. Alright, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him! Okay, that's his support. Now I just need to get Hakiv. Go get him, little drone. I'm not walking through Plasma Flyer, though. But you know what? This may work out for me. Got him! And now we just need some support. Oh, he's using sailor on weapons again. That's fine, though. 
Here's another turret to help. Get him. Come on, Hakeev, you can't repel firepower of this magnitude. As a matter of fact, let's see you repel this. No, he didn't like that. I can call as many reinforcements as I need. Not now. My ship has put an interference field around this plaza. It's over. All right, Obisek. And who stunned me? Stop that. You think you've stopped me? The Iconians already know. They know everything. <laughs> They'll be here soon. And nothing you've done will make a difference. It's not over. It's over now. All right, now I need to find an antenna and turn it off. No, nothing there. No. Oh, it won't let me do anything until I talk with Obisek. Hold on. So, Obisek, thanks for the save. The road to Riemann independence will be long and bloody, but this is a significant step. While I do not seek your approval of my methods, the crossing of our paths has been fortuitous. It's a pity you cannot aid us further in our liberation. You have my respect and the respect of my crew. If in the future we encounter one another again as allies, I would find this gratifying. I must return to the Zedinia. I recommend you finish what you came to do and leave quickly. Absolutely. We've located the Iconian computer systems. They're in a research room near the courtyard. Just back the way you came. Sounds good to me. There we go. Okay, that's a gateway. Um... Do I have any idea where they went? Or who that even was? Akiv was trying to use that gateway to escape. It was set for a location in the Delta Quadrant. But our sensors haven't shown anything in that area but empty space. Obviously, there is something there. Well, obviously. Make sure we send a ship to check it out. Okay. Time to blow this thing up. Good enough. I'll get those wired in with the rest of the charges, and with one button, we'll blow half of this city just to ashes. What? That is like the biggest gateway ever. Sir, we have your coordinates, but we can't beam you up until the gate is destroyed. We're still getting some strange interference. We are prepared to destroy the large Iconian gate with an orbital bombardment. We'll target the warhead yield, but you should get to an area away from the blast. Yeah, fair enough. Is there anything for us to do in here? I don't think so. I just need to find some cover. There's lots of rubble over here. Is there anything over here that counts as cover? This'll do. Alright, I'm in cover. Blow it up. That was a lot of torpedoes. I kind of thought torpedoes packed a bigger punch. 
I'm trying to hold her off, but the Zidenia is no match for a ship of that class. You'd better return to your vessel quickly. All right, I'm on my way up. Beam me up. Enemies of the Romulan people, this insurrection will not stand. Your hostile actions against the Romulan colony world are acts of war. Surrender now. Fairly, right. We have our work cut out for us. I will assist you. After all, we face a common foe. Fair enough. Unicorn, you are free to fire on whatever you want. Tovin, take us in. Lay in a course towards anything. I don't care what it is, just give Unicorn a targeting solution. Ready? Go. Everything you've got! Honestly, this is not that, that, uh... That unfair. I mean, we outnumber the enemy ships. I'm not exactly sure what Obisek was worried about. All right, Tovin, take us down. Good. Level out. And there is Sela. Come around and open fire with all batteries. This is your last chance to surrender. The full force of this dreadnought will be turned against any who persist in this foolish. Open fire with everything. And you will face the full might of the Romulan Star Empire. Did she just cloak? Get back here, you coward. There you are. Maintain course and heading. Everything you've got. I'm ejecting plasma. Sensors are reading a gate opening. There's a ship coming through. Can't get a sensor lock on it. They're taking the Leoval in tow. They're heading back through the gate. How many gates are here? Two on the ground, one in an asteroid, a ship-sized gateway? Did Sela just escape? Or was she kidnapped against her will? Regardless, this gate is deep in Romulan space. It's too risky to leave it here in Talshiar control, even with Hakeev and the Empress gone. So, we'll do what we do best and blow stuff up. Tovin, you know where to go. Now, Unicorn, when we get there, we're going to need some high-yield torpedoes. I mean, those might be the weak points of the asteroid, but we are shooting an asteroid. However, seeing as how it is an asteroid, I don't think we need quite as much power and weapons. Moving us back to a more balanced power state, that'll give us a little bit more power for the engines. Unicorn, give me a targeting solution as soon as you can. All right, we have one. Ready? Fire. Ship is under 
All right, one left. Can you not see it? Okay, targeting solution. Blow it up. If that was another Iconian gateway, that explains how they moved entire fleets. We have to get out of Romulan space and warn the homeworld. The Romulan threat may be over for now, but it looks like a bigger threat is looming on the horizon. Fair enough. Tovin, take us out of here. The Klingon Defense Force will continue the search for Sila's vessel. But as of right now, we have no idea where the Iconians took her, or if she went willingly. I find this turn of events disturbing. Sila's absence will throw the Romulan Star Empire into even greater chaos. And we have found that the Romulans are at their most dangerous when they are wounded. They suffered a grievous wound today. We are not done with them yet. I fear the return of the Iconians could change everything. Well, I mean, maybe it does. I don't know. We haven't really seen them. So, at least we got some of those mines they tried to use to uh, trap us in, or next to a core explosion. So that was fun. Oh, so we're not done yet. Apparently, we, we aren't done yet. What else do you have to say? Hakiv had a working Iconian gateway? Finally, the pieces of the puzzle start to fall into place. We know that the Iconians survived the destruction of their homeworld. Now we know that they are active in Romulan space, and apparently using these gladiatorial combats as a way to test the species of the Alpha Quadrant. Klingon intelligence will analyze the data you recovered from Hakib's command center. I must confer with Chancellor Jimpok. We have fought one ancient enemy and one. If the Iconians seek conflict with the Empire, we will destroy them as well. I'm glad you're so confident. So, I mean, are they really threatening us? I don't know. I agree. The Iconians are a cause for concern. Their motives are still unknown to us, as are their plans for the Quadrant. What we do know is that they desire chaos. Many of the problems we currently face can be directly traced back to their machinations. If they had not antagonized the Undine, would we be at war with the Federation today? They push us into battles that drain our resources. They fracture the powers of the Quadrant so that no one will be able to stand against them when they finally arrive. They must be stopped! I do not fear these demons of air and darkness. Let them come. The Empire will defeat them! Okay, yeah, you're confident. Sounds good to me. However, um, I'm not as confident now. I have been in contact with the Reem. No. Just no. Trust me. I know that you have more work for me, and believe me, we will come around and do it. But not right now. I just had to fight off an entire Romulan army on my own. I think I deserve a break. And so I'm going to go ahead and take one. After all, I'm still recovering from, you know, being in those gladiatorial combats on that dirt ball of a world. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take my break. So if you want to be here to see what happens next when we deal with... Well, whatever it is that we're going to be dealing with, I don't actually know because I didn't listen to him because I silenced him. Well, whenever we do that, if you want to be here for that, make sure you subscribe and make sure you hit the bell icon so you're here for every video when they come out. If you know somebody else who loves Star Trek or just loves MMOs like this, then share this video with them so they can enjoy it too. Then come back, 
leave a like, leave a comment down below, especially if you want to be part of the bridge crew. There's a list of people to get on the bridge crew, and if you want to be on that list, leave a like and leave a comment down below. You'll be there, and as soon as slots open up, you'll be on the ship. So, I look forward to seeing you down in the comments. I look forward to seeing you next time for more Star Trek Online. And until then, take care. <laughs>